Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Data Logic with Shivam. I'm back with another interview question for Power BI developer. But before moving forward, I would request you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have been posting shorts on Power BI interview question. Also, I have been posting videos on Power BI interview question which I usually ask to candidate or these question have been asked to me also in an interview. Let's move to Power BI. Now, before we dive into the solution, let's understand the question. So the our question is calculate total sales for pro each product category in last 90 days. If you see here, we have product category slicer and if I am changing this uh, slicer from electronics to food, this value is also changing and the value is last 90 days sales. So if I click on furniture, it will show me the furniture sales of last 90 days. So our requirement is to create a measure which will also change the value according to the slicer and whenever I am selecting electronics or food or any product category, it should show me the sales for last 90 days of this particular product category. Now let's see the data set. So in our data set, we have three columns. First, the product category, all of the pet product category are involved here like clothing, electronics, furniture, food, home goods and toys. And we have the sales also uh, regarding according to the product category and the date when this sales has been made. Now let's move to report view and try to create a measure. I'll click here and I'll click new measure. So first of all, to tackle this solution, we will utilize the selected value tax and dates between function along with the calculate function to create an efficient measure. This measure will dynamically calculate the total sales for the selected category within the last 90 days and allowing us to gain valuable insight into recent sale performance. So let me rename the measure last 90 days sales. So first I will create the variable to get the value of the product category slicer. So I will name as selected category and I will use selected selected value selected value dex and I will give the product category. Now I will put the return statement and I'll write my measure. So I'll start with calculate. Since I need the sum of sales, so I'll use the sum and the sales. Then I will give two filters here. The first filter will be my product category. So whenever I'm changing the product category from the slicer, so it should filter according to that. So I will write Table product category equals to selected category. Then my next, then my next filter will be dates between. Since I will, I we will need the 90 days sales, so I'll use the dates between function here and uh, the first argument will be the date column so I am I'm having the date column here then then for the next column I should have the start date and end date so now I have the end date that from the today I need last 90 days so what I will do I will use the today function here and I'll write minus 90 so this will be my starting date and today again so this will be my end date I'll close this bracket and then I'll close again and hit enter now I'll cancel this and I'll put this measure into my card now if I change the category furniture if I change the category to food it should it is giving me the exact value which was giving here electronics same value clothing same value twice same value so these type of question where question related to measure 
time intelligence and data filtering are commonly asked in an interview. Thank you for joining me in this Power BI interview question video. I hope you found it informative and valuable for your Power BI journey. Stay tuned for more exciting interview preparation content. Until next time, keep exploring, analyzing and mastering Power BI. Thank you.